riders this year have to raise £100,000 for Sea Rider Care. And we've also just heard news that George Bingham, our Angel of the North, world record breaker, has just passed 13 miles. I think he's having a tough race, but we're really proud of him. It's a great day, really buzzy, everyone's beginning to finish, the elites have done and our fast runners are already crossing the line. I'm really excited and uh, looking forward to 2011. So how was the London Marathon? It was fantastic. It was very hot and uh, it was brilliant. Really great run, great atmosphere. Actually, I'm really good. <laughs> I am. I couldn't believe it. And as I say, 21 miles, I thought, no, I can't go any further. And then, wow, I suddenly saw Sue Ryder. And I've never seen, been so happy to see Natalie and her beating drum. It was really, really good. I'm absolutely exhausted, to be honest. I think that's the longest uh, last seven miles of my life. Very, very tired. But happy. Very happy now. <laughs> I feel absolutely fine. In fact, I could do it again. I didn't take me back around to the start. I could do it again. So what's another medal, actually? I'm going to smelt this down. <laughs> Not too bad, actually. Yeah. Leg was so good. Yeah, doing well. Holding up. And why did you run for Sue Eyes Care? Uh, I have a friend in the village who runs one of the hospices and uh, she tells us about the great work that's done. Great. Is it four million hours of um, end of life care provided every year? I think that's, that's about as good as it gets. Uh, I had a sister that died in um, 1990. And, um, she spent the last couple of years of her life as a writer. It's a uh, hospice up north where. Uh, a few of my wife's family have been, and uh, it's for them basically. So, hopefully, we raise the best part of a thousand pounds with any luck. Oh. So, as long as everyone coughs up. Okay. Well, hospice in Oxenor is about 200 yards from where I live. Um, we have one of well, our housemate and a close friend, sister passed away sadly a couple of years ago, and she had cervical cancer and was going to have to ride ride again. So. And there's a Sue Rider home right by where my parents live. So. Well, because I work there. Um, yeah, I'm one of the board sisters at Thorpe Hall in Peter, so um, you kind of do your bit, but it is a charity that I support, so anyway, the family do as well. Do it again? Definitely, yes. <laughs> Maybe not next year. Yes, anyway. Thank you. I think, I think so. yeah. <laughs> I think it gets addictive. So yeah, I think I would. Yeah, I would think. It's very doubtful. <laughs> It's not that I haven't enjoyed it, it's a trade and it just takes over your life. But I would recommend it to anybody, I can't believe how happy I am. So that's it, 2010 Virgin London Marathon's done. We're so proud of all our runners they had. They did fantastically, a really great day, really proud of them. Um, great stuff for all the runners um, and all the great volunteers as well who helped on the day to make it an absolutely wonderful full day. So here's to 2011, hopefully we'll have lots more runners again. If you want to take part, you can go to www.seeridercare.org and sign up um, now and then you've got the ballot as well. So um, here's to all, good luck to next year and thank you very much.